I am, oh, I, mine is a little bit boring, but I found him from 110 to 1 to 125. And I'm picking him for a couple of reasons. Number one, he played really well here last year. And number two, he needs something to he needs something to go right for him right now. Um, because there's there's not much, there's not many bright sparks when it comes to his season, but I'm going to take Cameron <laughs> Champ, who we know is one of the biggest hitters on the tour. And last year, kind of out of nowhere, he was in contention. Um, he had a little bit of a shaky Sunday, but still finished um, sixth in a tie for sixth here. Um, when I say he came out of nowhere, he'd had a top 10 finish at the Masters last year and then his next start was playing in the Mexico Open. So he had two really good finishes back to back. Looking at how he's been playing, there's really not many bright sparks for Cameron Champ. So I think he's going to go back to a place where he knows that he can kind of play a little bit freer. You know, he's not going to be restrained. He can use his length to a huge advantage on a course that he played well at last year. He's also, you know, expecting a baby. So I'm going to throw that into the mix that there's that kind of feel good factor. <laughs> you got to have that in there. He, yeah, he's missed six cuts in a row, which is probably why his odds are so high coming back to a place where he did do really well last year. But um, I'm going to, I'm going to jump on this and hope that Cameron Champ gets back to the way that he was playing last year at this tournament when he tees it up on Thursday. So I'm going to take him as my dark horse, which, you know, he's over 100 to 1, 110 to 125 to 1. Yeah, I mean, Cameron Champ, Sam and I watched him practice at Augusta this year. He was working with Sean Foley on the range. He was hitting the ball pretty nice on the on the, uh, on the the practice tee right next to John Rahm warming up. And uh, went out on the course and we were following his scores on the app and or on the on the on the board and, and things weren't working out for him and Sam was asking me you know what's going on with Cameron Champ you know everything looks so good with him hits so far and and you know obviously the momentum is not with him at all he, you know whether it's his whatever it is is you know tour of momentum and I know you're going through this with your brother a little bit too they sometimes you get a little lost on tour and and you can't get yourself out of it you look at another guy who has momentum that's why when we look at our stats, we look so much at what 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 just happened in their life. What what's going on in their life? You're talking about Cameron Champ having a baby. He'll be thinking about that. That's cool. Uh, I'm talking about Brandon Matthews, who just had a good week at New Orleans. He needed to hit it straight there and did. So he's same length player. He's actually longer than Cameron Champ. So um, we're looking for these little tiny little slivers of of momentum, Diane, one way or the other. And you're, you're pushing one one way and I'm, I'm riding a wave on a guy that's already got it. So we'll yeah. see what happens. 